spent the first 10 years of his life indoors, hidden from the rest of the world. When his sisters went out to play, Andy was kept inside. When they went to school, Andy was left behind. Even when Andy's sisters visited the doctors, no one ever mentioned Andy. The outside world didn't know Andy even existed. I used to see other kids outside a lot. They would come near my window, but they'll never look up. I was scared to get their attention. I never caught out to them. I didn't want that big, mean man to come and tie me down again. I hate him. Hey! Stay away from the window. Get up. Kenny was tied to the bed or locked in the closet anytime someone came to their house. was 10 years old, one of his sisters got enough courage to open a window and let Andy escape. The neighbors saw a strange boy running down the street. They were horrified to discover that that little boy had been imprisoned next door to them for 10 long years. The feelings Andy held inside of him were unimaginable. At first, Andy lived with a therapeutic foster mother, but she was unable to manage his outbursts of anger, his impulsive behaviors, or the series of psychiatric hospitalizations that occurred after Andy escaped the decade-long nightmare of imprisonment in his own home. Andy's foster mother only wanted the best for him. She tried, but she couldn't help him. She knew he could have a bright future Andy, if someone could it's reach okay. him. Every foster home I went to was the same. No one wanted me to stay. I was bad. No one cared. No one could love me. When children first arrive at Winwood Farm, they're usually frightened, angry, and confused. Often, they don't trust anyone because they've been hurt physically and emotionally. And those scars run deep. When I got to Winwood, I was scared of everything. I cried all the time. I thought the people I went with would hurt me, like that man at my house. The first thing children need when they get to win is to begin to feel safe and secure. Each boy receives loving care, three nutritious meals each day, a warm bed and clean clothes to win. Many Winwood children have never had these basic necessities. When Andy first came to the Winwood school, things were tough. He couldn't even sit in his seat for more than 15 minutes. We were told he had a low IQ and we shouldn't expect much. But we weren't willing to accept that as Andy's fate. I never went to school till I came to Winwood. I was scared of school. I didn't know what to do there. Andy slowly began to make progress in his schoolwork. The day Andy read his first sentence was incredible. I can't describe what it felt like. We knew that Andy's IQ was not low at all. He had just not been given a real chance. He was soon reading at a second grade level and we knew that before long he would catch up to the other children his age. Because of the trauma he went through, Andy's psychological problems were more serious and progress in improving his behavior was slow. Part of the healing process for abused children is to provide them with solid, dependable relationships. We work to improve our boys' behavior and their ability to trust. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes love. One of the things about Wynwood Farm that sets us apart from the other group homes is our atmosphere. Wynwood is a 110-acre farm. It's like a big camp 
it allows us to provide a new experience for our boys. We strive to go above and beyond what the state requires of us. We use therapeutic recreation in our challenge course. It helps boys develop skills like problem solving, anger management, and healthy self-expression. We also take advantage of our setting to use animals as part of our treatment and therapy. At Wynwood, we found that abused boys like Andy can develop a bond with animals that helps them to develop bonds with people later. The structured use of a horse works especially well. It helps instill confidence in an abused child. At first, I was really scared of the horses. They were so big, I wouldn't even go near them. I thought Sam was pretty, though. Every time I went to see him, I carried his wee bucket a little closer. Then one day, I made myself stay there while he came up to eat. I was so scared, but my counselor kept saying, you can do it, Andy, you can do it. Sam walked up to me, and he stretched out his head. He wanted me to pet him. So I did. He was so soft. As time passed and Andy's behavior improved, sometimes he would stop by the Winwood Farm office, crying, and asking them to find a mommy of his own. The staff at Winwood Farm know that the most important relationship for a child is the one with a family. So, when it's possible, Winwood involves families in treatment. But in cases like Andy's, where reunifying the family is not for the best, the staff works with foster families and adoptive families to help make sure the child's transition to a new home and a new life is successful. Andy's previous foster mother had been staying in touch with us. And when she saw the changes in Andy, she came forward again. But we believe that if she still had room in her home and in her heart, the two of them could try on their own. Winwood Farm builds hope through security, through relationships, through education, through new experiences. At Winwood Farm, we believe that every child matters. That's why we offer help, hope, and healing to those in need. Help us continue to build a future of hope. Winwood Farm, home for children.